Ahoy there, and welcome to Bologna, Italy. Bologna is a city very famous for three things that begin with the letter T. Two towers, tortelli, and tourists. But not normal tourists, crazy tourists, accidental tourists. Let's go and meet them. Her name is Susie, his name is Patrizio. And for 12 years, they have been everywhere, all around the world, making a very funny TV program called Turisti per caso, Accidental Tourism. Turisti per caso! Busy! <laughs> ah, here we are. Hello. Hello, Clive. Wait for us downstairs. Yes. No, 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 no. Come up, come up, Clive. They are quite an odd couple, as you'll see. The world, Susie Patrizio. Well, these accidental tourists have gone everywhere around the world and every Italian person has visited the world through their eyes. Yeah. Now, where have you been? Uh, in Australia. No. In Japan. Japan. Polynesia. In Egypt. Uh, China. 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 Uh, China. Uh, Svalbard Island, North uh, Pole. USA. Uh, uh, Tonga, of... Fiji. Samoa. Uh, Sam Galapagos, yes. Uh, Spain, uh, Spain. Ah, uh, yeah, and Italy. Can we see something together? Uh -huh. Oh, yes, uh, watch. Ha, ha, yeah. oh. Attenzione, era fa lui? Era fa voi? Pronti, la panella. Allora, eh, chi arriva con l'uovo intatto dimostra il vero macio polinesiano. Me oui. Va bene? Pronti? E via! Ah! They, do, they are normal people that do normal things as normal tourists yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So when you see them, you know you can do it too. Yeah. Yes. Every, everything. But I was a sportsman. Ah, a sport like uh, darts and billiards. No, no. New York Marathon. The New York Marathon? Yes. But he was the last. The last. Mm. More or less the last because... The, the, last, the, last. the last will be the first. Yeah. The New York Marathon is a big blowout. Americans know how to do that kind of thing. To pay, celebrate, come together in a common feeling. Even though the place will be buzzing with energy, it'll take me seven hours and 50 minutes to do the 42 kilometers. A real workout. So this is uh, Patrick, mm. Patrizio, and you, Susie, are you very sporty? Um, no, you, um, I like uh, uh, people. I like uh, uh, in people. And their customs, their habits, yeah. their dances? Uh, dance, dancing! Tamure. Flamenco on the Siviliana. Tango. Salsa. But, but I don't uh, only the body, I have a spirit. Uh, in Kyoto, in, 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 in Japan, she met somebody from the Buddhist religion, given that she's met all the religions of this world. Ma era un personaggio un po' particolare. A very particular person. Fratelli d'Italia.
まことはえあれはかきわれらにいざいざともにひえいおあおぎ思ってセーザーハンドをこしてくれてるんですよボンジュールのボンジュールのえー、siamo dal monaco del del di un famoso tempio a Kyoto e siamo molto contenti di presentarvelo in questa trasmissione per questo mercato <laughs> Accidental tourist and uh, not normal tourist, not normal monk. <laughs> yes, uh, but uh, uh, in, in, in Ecuador, in Ecuador? Uh, I mi sono fatta curare da degli sciamani uh, ecuadoreni. Wow, she tried a type of cure organized by the shaman. Yes, please. This is called the Limpia, a rite of purification. Water perfumed with medical herbs, cigarette smoke, and shaman saliva. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and other esoteric experiences? Oh, tante, tantissime. Sorry, ma I have a, a very important experience. Mm -hmm. I was in Mustang. Mustang is a Tibet. Mm -hmm. uh, foot trekking for seven days. No, yes. no, no. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. With no, the horse. no, 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 with the horse, uh, on foot, uh, no, no, no. with the horse, no. and anche il cavallo non ce la faceva più. Uh, on two or six legs, let's see. Two. Horse. What is there to see in Tange, a little lost town 4,000 meters high in Tibet's Mustang Mountains? Everything. Because to me, this is another apples, a tiny newborn calf, a little street the wind blows down, a door, a roof, a place rich with everything you need, that is to say, wood for the winter. Here, everything has a special value. There is purity here, not only in a religious or moral sense, but because the place hasn't been historically or technologically contaminated. Everything here is like it was back in medieval times. The streets are so rough that not even wheels survive them. Namaste. Let's talk about the best, the best place you have visited. It is not the, 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 the country. Yes, the in front of the people, the custom, the... the uh, per esempio, sono stata con uh, un gruppo di aborigini in Australia. Ah, you, you stay with some aborigines. Yes, ed è molto bello, come fare un picnic uh, con gli aborigini. It was literally like going to have a picnic, not um, <laughs> on hanging rock, but with aborigines. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> e per prendere il pesce. Si vede che attrae un po' punta. Uh, is for the fish. For crab. Cioè lo, lo sta raddrizzando sul fuoco. Pensa a te, ecco come si fa. Bush holidays, you're staying here for bush holidays. Ah, yeah. È un campeggio per le vacanze. Cioè, eh, come, come per tutti, si sta in paese, diciamo in città, si sta in paese tutta la settimana e poi si viene il sabato o domenica per le vacanze, così, nel proprio paese, nel proprio paese sulla propria terra, e si campeggia, e si campeggia. Eh, ed era in Australia, qui al centro, a Uluru. And from Australia, where do we go? Ah, here, ah, here. Yeah. Uh, we, now, we now go in the Svalbard Island. It was a very, very interesting travel, uh, very, very cold. Uh, a lot of polar bears. Ah. Bears? Ah. Uh, Vabbè, i cani sono impazienti e tocca prendere posto sulla slitta. Già, ma come si una slitta? Su una slitta si sta molto scomodi. Robin ci guarda con un certo disprezzo. Forse non ha mai visto due turisti imbranati come noi. Ci sono momenti di tensione. La partenza è un po' avventurosa, per non dire scordinata. Siamo già... Scoppia improvvisamente una rissa tremenda tra i cani. Interviene Kitty. Poi deve farsi valere Robin. Accidenti che botte! Ha rotto una racchetta in testa ai cani. Poveri cagnolini. A me vengono scrupoli animalistici, ma il fatto è che i groenlandesi sono molto individualisti, vogliono emergere nel branco, vogliono sempre misurarsi con gli altri per stabilire gerarchie. 
e l'uomo deve saper dimostrare di essere l'uomo brano. Ah, so lifestyles, food, traditions, animals. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and something philosophic, something... Uh, mystery. 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 I try and unveil this mystery. We are at Palenque in Mexico. The skeleton of Pakal, the high priest of the pyramid, is still in its sarcophagus under the marble slab, but unfortunately the jewels and the famous jade mask were stolen years ago from the Mexico City Museum. Fortunately, neither the sarcophagus nor the monolithic 14-ton marble slab can be removed from here. The Mayans first made the sarcophagus, then they built the pyramid around it. This is the famous marble slab. It's true you can't see it very well, but sculpted on top, there is a man in the center of an object, the tree of life. To many, the object seems to be flying. In fact, they call him the Palenque astronaut. Adriatica, our boat. Is this another mystery? Yeah. No, 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 ah. this is a mystery. It's uh, uh, our, our boat, boat we, we, we for are... the round of the... Travel around the world. Yeah. Ah, they the use boat. this boat for travel. So you are not only accidental tourists, you are accidental sailors. Yes, yeah. accidental sailors. Yes, it's true. Io ti battezzo Adriatica! We have purchased and equipped a sailboat, a 70-foot sloop. After having played the traditional tourist for so long now, we wanted to become a voyager. And the means of travel is very important. To jump on a plane, go look around somewhere and come back seems like consumerism. Whereas to take measure in small steps of the enormity of the planet circling the world by boat, this is a real challenge. We have transformed ourselves from accidental tourists into accidental sailors. We have circled the entire globe over two and a half years and have created 19 100 minute long episodes. But it wasn't enough. At the beginning of 2000, we embarked on another voyage and we became accidentally evolved. Guarda caso, fra poco si celebra il bicentenario di una persona che facendo un lunghissimo viaggio ha rivoluzionato la scienza moderna. Charles Darwin! the Adriatica taking the place of the brigantine, the Beagle, we retraced the most interesting parts of Darwin's voyage, the circumnavigation of South America, with students and faculty from eight Italian universities. A voyage lasting seven months in 12 legs with more than 100 scientists. We followed biologists on the Chilean island of Chiloe, primatologists into the Brazilian forests, paleontologists across Patagonia, anthropologists amongst the Andean population of Peru, and geologists into the Atacama Desert. In an effort to popularize science, we even went to the Galapagos Islands to document research of the iguana. Watch out, the first iguana. Iguanas have to be captured very delicately to suffer in any way. And then they begin gathering biological data. Allora Anna, segnami il numero di pit. Il numero di pit è questo maschio adulto ed è 017-053. But it's not just about science. Ah. 
I, Susie, created a 20-episode program called Accidental Mysteries in order to reveal the mysteries that I came across in Italy and all over the world. This episode will take a tour around Nuraghe, Menhir, Domus de Janas, and popular celebrations of Sardinian mysteries. Okay, I'm ready for my first Nuraghe, the Nuraghe of Losa. For Zeda, the orientation of this Nuraghe is surprising. The winter and summer solstices are the extremes that the sun reaches during the course of the year. Ed è un momento in cui non si sa se riprende. Ma se il sole non riprendesse il suo ciclo normale, non si trovasse lì in quel punto preciso, cosa vorrebbe dire? È la fine del mondo. And e so quindi? the Nuraghe of Loza permits the other observations and it becomes an instrument of prediction. Questo sarebbe il triangolo. Esatto. Questo lato è orientato con l'alba dell'estate e il tramonto dell'inverno. E quest'altro con il tramonto dell'estate e l'alba dell'inverno. Come le piramidi sono perfettamente nord, sud, est, ovest, i nuraghi ci hanno fatto questo nuraghe perfettamente lungo gli est sostiziali. È straordinaria come costruzione. Vuol dire, Mauro, una parola molto semplice, che questa non è una costruzione astronomica, ma è una macchina astronomica. Ma la domanda è sempre quella. Perché costruire una cosa del genere? Forse lo scopro entrando. From an architectural point of view, it's not just the orientation that helps us understand that this was an incredible construction. In fact, the ability to build a vault by stacking the stones on top of each other is amazing. Questo asse del mondo, l'axis mundi, che collega gli inferi, la terra e il cielo, così come nel Pantheon, nei grandi edifici, dove c'è questo collegamento tra gli inferi, la terra e il cielo. And not only that, they inserted a series of spirals into action. Salgo su per la scala che gira attorno al nuraghe, in questo modo a spirale, tutto attorno. Incredibile. Please, ladies and gentlemen, buy our program. So we are saying bye, not bye, but bye. Bye, bye, this program.